Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Agriculture. Minister, you know, as I was doing a little research for the question today, I typed into Google, I typed in Dalton McGuinty's promises, and it came back, did you mean broken promises? And then it came up with the top 50 list of broken promises. And it was all the things like roll back tolls and coal fire plants. Anyway, Minister, last week I asked you about Bill 132 and the sale of fruit wines at farmers markets. You said it's in committee. Your House leader has promised swift passage. But I have a letter here from your Minister of Government Services. And he says he won't allow the sale of fruit wines at farmers markets. He hasn't listened to you. Minister, He's not which to one you. of you three are telling the truth? Not are any of you telling the truth? I just ask the honourable member to withdraw all three of those comments, please. Withdraw. Thank you. Minister? Do it. Minister? Uh, thank you, Speaker. Uh, this is running for the I do appreciate leadership. the opportunity wow. to clarify for the members of this House and for the honourable member uh, the bill that he inquired of me about last week has uh, bit, has had first re or second reading debate. So uh, it is now up to the House leaders to decide where the bill and when the bill and if the bill will go further. Um, I, as Minister of Agriculture, have made it very clear. I've spoken with the fruit winery people. I have some uh, uh, great appreciation for the points that they have made and uh, the fact that they have talked to me about establishing pilot projects for the sale of fruit wines. Um, that is an idea that I've indicated publicly I support and I stand by that and that speaker is the truth. Supplementary. Speaker again to the minister. Here's a letter dated April 28th from the Minister of Government Services to Mr. Bert Andrews. My ministry does not have any plans to allow the sale of fruit wines at farmers' markets. Okay. Speaker, this minister, we've heard three different tunes and three different stories. Where I come from, honourable people are honest. There's no lies or misleading, and they, if they... No, I, 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 I just ask the honourable member to withdraw those comments, please. Dear Minister, say with, thank you. Dear Minister, will you ask for forgiveness and apologize to this House and the countrymen for your government's misleading statements? I ask the honourable member to withdraw that last comment, please. The honourable member uh, for the second time to withdraw the comment, please. I ask the honourable member for the third time to withdraw the comment, please. Um, I therefore will have to name the member from Lanark, Frontenac, Lennox, Addington, Randy Hillier, and ask the sergeant at arms to escort him from the chamber, please. Nickel belts. 